Okay, so you've got a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire TV, and for whatever reason, your device just doesn't get past the Fire TV logo. As we can see what's happening on my device, you've tried the standard fixes, you've tried rebooting your device, you've tried to leave your device off for a couple of hours or a couple of days, and every time you try to unplug the Fire Stick, as you can see with my device, you unplug it, you plug it back in, but for whatever reason, your device never gets past the initial boot up logo. Now I suspect this is some kind of cropped update. Maybe something was pushed out from Amazon, which wasn't properly downloaded, or maybe the update was okay, but for whatever reason, maybe your device couldn't handle this update. But the net result is every time you reboot your Fire Stick or Fire TV, you plug the power back in, it never gets past that initial logo. Now. This problem is rampant right now. If you search the Amazon forums or you search online, so many people are complaining that for whatever reason, their Fire Stick or Fire TV now is more or less inoperable because it just doesn't get past this boot up logo. Now I've seen some fixes where, for example, you press certain keystrokes on your remote control, which should initiate a device factory reset. The trouble is when your device is in this state, at this stage of the boot up, the drivers, the Bluetooth drivers are not probably even loaded, which means your remote control has no access, as in nothing that I press on here even makes it to the device yet because it just hasn't completed that boot up sequence. Now, the reason why I keep on unplugging and plugging back in because I just want to make sure you guys can see this device definitely has this problem because I have seen some other videos where people talk about, you know, certain fixes, but unless you have the device in front of you, which is having the problem, then you demonstrate the fix. How can you actually know that your fix actually resolved the problem? So I'm hoping now you guys have seen this is rebooted a few times and in every case it never gets past the boot up logo. So how am I going to fix it? Well, one of the fixes I found is by using a certain keystrokes on a keyboard, which will then tell the Fire Stick to terminate any processes because another reason could be that a certain process is not starting properly. And because of that process, it basically locks up the Fire Stick. So the Fire Stick just can't start up its normal boot process. So using this special keystroke, we can now just say terminate all processes, terminate anything running in the background, and hopefully with one of those corrupted processes that were terminated, it should allow the Fire Stick to reboot. Now for this fix, as you can see here, it just requires an OTG adapter or an OTG cable. You can get these for a dollar or two from Amazon and I will leave a link in the video description for the one I used. And you also need any USB keyboard. So I've already had the dongle plugged in, the OTG adapter. If you don't want to use the adapter, the other option is this standard looking OTG adapter. So as you can see, this side, the power side will plug into your Fire Stick. This port is where you'd now plug in your power cable and you now have access to a full size USB port where you can plug in a keyboard or a USB drive or really any USB device. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one here, which I've got plugged in. What I need to do now is get my USB keyboard let me do that. Okay, so there is my USB keyboard. I'm just gonna plug that in. All right, so let's get that in there. That's gone in. So this is a standard USB keyboard. I'm just trying to get everything in the shot so you can see. So the keystroke that we are after is Alt, Print Screen and Eyes. So three buttons that we're going to press so the Alt and the print screen I'm gonna hold down and I'm gonna keep spamming the I button and hopefully this should send the command to terminate any processes that are locking up the Fire Stick, preventing it booting up. Okay, so let's now unplug this. I can see I unplugged that. That takes the power away from the keyboard as well. Let's plug that back in. Actually, before I do, let me just show you. So the keystrokes we're looking for is Alt and then print screen up here. Uh, let me get that in there. So print screen, which is here, and I. So I'm going to hold these two down, and I'm going to keep pressing I like this. That's the plan. Okay, so let's now plug this in. That's gone in. Now we'll wait for the logo to appear. Then we'll do Alt, print screen, and keep spamming I. And this is the moment of truth. 
But I do have some caveats after this just to share with you guys because I've actually been trying this with about three different fire sticks. One fire stick that somebody actually sent to me, one of my subscribers. So many thanks to Frank for doing that. All right, is that going to do anything or not? All right, so hands are getting a bit tired. <laughs> so just to confirm again, that was Alt, Print Screen and I. Now it is also a timing issue. So perhaps when I did this on this attempt, the timing might have been slightly off. So I'll give it a few more seconds and then I'll try again. And this time maybe I'll press it a bit earlier. All right, is that working? Uh, I would say that's probably not working. Okay, so at least we can confirm that the Fire Stick definitely has this problem. But in this case, the old print screen and I is not actually doing much. Okay, so let's stop that. Unplug, plug back in. And this time, let's do it a bit quicker. So, old print screen and keep pressing I. Actually, I'm wondering if the cable is not pressing down on any of the other buttons because that would cause a problem. But okay, let's try that again. So Alt, Print Screen, I. Are you going to wake up? Are you going to come back to life? Is this going to work? Actually, I do think the, the cable may be pressing one of the other buttons. Uh, old print screen I oh, it is open screen. okay that's better now you can see a lot more okay so that might make it easier to see then okay so let's move this bit to the side you have to excuse the mess okay so I'm plugging it again move this bit out plugging it back in and now straight as soon as I see the logo we have alt print screen I Third time lucky. Let's see if this actually wakes a device up. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> so I do think the cables were pressing, I think one of the other buttons and because of that, I think that was preventing the, the correct keystrokes from being sent to the fire stick. But you can see guys in real time, TD UK has actually fixed this boot loop issue. And we are now once again booted up and we can get into our fire stick. So I can say now if I log back in, and this was my 4K Fire Stick Max. Okay, so I wonder if I go to settings, if there was actually an update that caused this problem or if there's an update that was pending. I might have to move this other thing out of the way. Uh, okay, that's the wrong place. Uh, is that my Fire TV? No, it's not. <laughs> is that my Fire TV? Yes, it is. Okay, so go to about. Ah, see downloading updates. So maybe the previous update didn't download properly. And because of that, this caused a problem. So I'm now going to install this new update, hoping whatever wasn't properly installed before or caused a problem before should now be fixed. Let's give that a second. But yeah, guys, so this was the fix that I used. Okay, so that's now updating. So this was the fix that I used on my other device, which I had before. And since that time, I've actually purchased two other faulty fire sticks, which had the similar boot loop type issue. But this fix didn't work on those devices. So it really does depend on your fire stick. If it gets into a certain state, maybe if the, the update was too corrupt or too much of your core files were messed up. If it's in that state, then unfortunately, this is not going to work because even though I've demonstrated it working on this particular fire stick, it really does depend on your device and the state at which it basically got into this problem. Certain devices will be fixed if you do the correct keystrokes in the correct manner as demonstrated today. But again, there's no guarantee it's definitely going to fix your device. But we can see on this 4K fire stick max, we're back in. Um, I'll wait for the update to finish. Now, one of the things you definitely don't want to do um, is obviously when the update is happening, you definitely don't want to be unplugging the power cable because that will definitely potentially can cause corruption because whilst the update is downloading, maybe it's expanding those files, maybe it's writing those files, then any you know break in the power can cause that corruption. 
and I was going to try another keystroke which will allow your device to boot up in safe mode. So in safe mode, some of your third party applications don't start up. So again, if they were actually causing the problem with that keystroke, you can start in safe mode, which will only start the core applications. And then you can potentially uninstall a corrupted app if it was one of those things. Or maybe you can then just even do a factory reset and get a fresh start. Now I will leave those keystrokes in the video description and pinned comment if you want to try it. Now we'll give this just a few more seconds. I just want to confirm that the update completes successfully. And let's now do a final reboot to make sure that my device reboots okay. And hopefully I won't see this boot loop issue again. And just while we're waiting guys, if you are enjoying videos like this, if you want to see more videos on the latest Fire Stick applications, the latest Android TV tips and tricks, really just how to get the best from your streaming devices, how to cut the cord as cheap as possible, ideally free then, definitely do think about subscribing and hitting that bell so you know exactly when I post my next video. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So no funny keystrokes needed. My device is booted okay. Um, let's just check the version to see what version we have installed. And then I'll, in fact, I'll just remove this OTG cable and plug the power direct into the, the Fire TV stick, which is more a typical uh, configuration. Okay, it's definitely taking a bit longer, but I'm guessing that's the update applying in the background. Okay, so here we are. I can log back in. In fact, let's see if we've got the latest update with the new icon. Okay, we haven't. Okay, so let's go back into the settings. Let's go back into My Fire TV. Oh, it's downloading another update. Okay, so clearly this is a... Uh... I mean, it just shows you maybe if there was something corrupted on my device, that's why I was not booting properly. Now that the corruption has cleared, now all of these updates that were pending are now all trickling down and installing onto my device. So I would say definitely the issue that my device has or had has now been properly resolved. But again, I will do that final reboot test. Okay, that's now finished. Let's click on check for updates, no updates. Um, okay, so let's now just pull out the power cable and let's just confirm for the last time We'll unplug the OTG adapter and let's just see, does the device come back okay? So let's just unplug this, plug out the power cable, plug that direct in here, and we'll say that's the final test, all successful. And we have now fixed this boot loop issue on this particular device. Let's see if that works. Wouldn't it be funny if this got another boot loop? So actually, no, we can see that boots up a lot quicker. So it just shows you that when the device is behaving normally, when there's no pending updates to install, it does actually boot up fairly quickly. We can see that was less than, I'd say 15 seconds. Yep, and we are straight into the profile selections. So that's been much of this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I hope uh, you can share this video to other people having this problem and maybe these keystrokes that I used in my video will help them recover their fire sticks. But as I mentioned in the video, certain fire sticks get to a certain stage where really they are beyond help. So no safe mode, no terminating processes at the startup, none of that's going to make any difference. And if that's the issue with your fire stick, I'll definitely recommend contacting Amazon and see if they can send you a replacement. Really appreciate your support guys. Many thanks for sticking around. Do share this video with anybody else who has a fire stick with a boot loop issue many thanks for your support and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks